That isn't the only way City Council is trying to improve traffic safety in Des Moines. Roundabouts or traffic circles are rare to see in Iowa's capital city. Local 5 reporter Connor O'Neill joins us now in the studio to break down a Des Moines City Council decision from Monday night. Connor. Hey Stephanie, so the City Council voted 6-0 Monday night to give Des Moines one of its first, if not its first, roundabouts meant to slow down traffic. The Council gave the City approval to build this roundabout at the busy intersection of Southeast 36th Street and East Army Post Road in the southeast corner of the city. According to City Engineer Steve Neighbor, about 70% of drivers speed near this intersection and that's why City Councilman Joe Gatto believes this traffic circle will make the area safer. This will help that intersection and it will slow slow folks down. Um, as far as your property goes, we will be fair. I know there are like three of them, it is mostly farmland, and then one of them I, I believe is probably your residence. Councilman Gatto references Des Moines resident Ken Ross in that clip. Ross asked not to be on camera for safety reasons, but him and his wife live on a farm right at that intersection. And when I spoke to Ross today, he said he's concerned he won't be able to get farm equipment in from East Army Post Road once construction starts. However, he told me he's seen so many drivers zip by over the years and he thinks a traffic circle would help prevent anything from going wrong. Now, aside from Des Moines, there are other metro cities like roundabouts like in Waukee. Waukee has several roundabouts they've constructed over the years like this one you see right here and it's on Hickman Road and North Warrior Lane. City Administrator Brad Dietz says their roundabouts have been a success, which he thinks would be the same in Des Moines. We've uh, had very few instances of, of crashes and certainly when there is a, uh, a crash, uh, it's less severe than if you have say, sort of a T-bone situation or just a, a four-way controlled stop. Dietz also told me that not only are these traffic circles safer for drivers, but they're also safer for pedestrians as well because of the design crosswalks drivers must yield to. Now at the meeting Monday night, the city council didn't decide officially if they would take any of Ross's or other properties land to create the traffic circle. So now Ross, he just has to play the waiting game. Back to you, Stephanie. All right, Connor, thanks so much.